My name is Mary Caldor, I'm a professor at the London School of Economics and I work on war and peace issues. My basic argument is that what we've seen over the last two decades, or rather what we've been concerned about over the last two decades, is a type of war which is very different from the sort of war that's in the mind of the policymakers. So the war that's in the mind of the policymakers are the European laws of the 19th and 20th century, whereas the wars that we're seeing nowadays in Africa, in the Middle East and so on, have a very different logic. And when I originally um, wrote New Wars, I wrote that different logic, I, I described that different logic in empirical terms that the actors were no longer regular forces but networks of state and non-state actors like paramilitary groups, warlords, as well as regular forces, that the goals were about very much about ethnic and religious identity rather than about geopolitical interest. And in particular I argued that extreme or exclusive ethnic and religious identities are very often constructed as a result of war rather than being a cause of war. They're very different in terms of tactics. Instead, in, in new wars, battles are rare, whereas battles were the decisive encounter of old wars. And uh, the main balance is directed against civilians for political reasons, because the way you control territory is politically and militarily. And finally, they have very different forms of finance. Old wars were largely financed by taxation, whereas new wars are, fi are financed through all kinds of revenue-raising activities related to violence, like loot and pillage and taxing humanitarian assistance. And what I argue is that logic leads to what people nowadays call persistent conflict, that that sort of logic um, means that the two sides are not interested in winning. They're interested in the enterprise of war itself, either because that's what, the way you mobilize people around identity or for economic reasons. So I think the really big difference with old wars, at least our old wars in our imagination, is that old wars were contests of wills in which one side had to win and the other side had to lose, whereas New wars are more like mutual enterprises, and that has enormous implications for policy. I don't think that all new wars are about greed, far from it. I mean, that's the reason I emphasize the politics of identity. And of course, uh, the Syrian conflict began as a revolution, and people wanted to overthrow Assad. But um, what, ha what happened was that Assad started firing on protesters and you got defections from the Syrian army, you got the entry of jihadists, Assad released criminals from jail. And so the violence, it's, it's established a kind of war economy involving violence that is almost separate from the political conflict. Actually, um, you know, one of the arguments I often make is that Violence is the opposite of conflict. Um, in com it, democratic societies are all about managing conflict. Conflict's normal among human beings. Mm -hmm. It's when conflicts break down. It, it's when conflicts can't be managed, can't be resolved, that you get violence. And that then the conflict is expressed in a very simplistic way rather than in a complex negotiated way.